starting in here at six minutes. So, welcome. This is the very first episode, I guess you can call it, of uh, starting a YouTube series. And uh, who am I? Well, my name is Laura Tempest Zakroff. Uh, I am a modern traditional witch, as well as an artist. This is my studio. I am an author. This is also where I write. Uh, I am also a designer, a dancer, a blogger, and uh, yeah, I do a lot of things. But uh, friends and various folks were asking if I would start doing a little YouTube thing. So I figured, all right, I will do it occasionally, probably twice a month. We shall see, or when the uh, inspiration hits me. And it will be six minutes. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge because I like to talk. Well, I get really excited when I talk about witchcraft, and that's what we'll be discussing here is everything to do with uh, tra traditional, modern traditional witchcraft, uh, paganism, neo-paganism, whatever you want to call it, uh, whether it's looking at working with spirits, working, doing spellcraft, considering art, uh, different kinds of interpersonal relations, all these different things that all wrap around or find themselves in the realm of witchcraft. And I figured for these, this very first one, um, as it so happens, the other night um, I was finishing up doing a review of this book. It is Poppet Magic by Silver Ravenwolf. And I know this might be shocking for um, a lot of folks, but even though I really came into this path and practice in the uh, early 90s, uh, <laughs> this is the first book I've really sat down and read by Silver. And it is, it is delightful. Uh, as an artist, I love how she talks about crafting and making dolls. Uh, and you'll be seeing an interview with her that, uh, and as long as well, is this review in an upcoming issue of Witches and Pagans magazine. But the thing that really struck me is the other night, as I was finishing up and getting my questions together for Silver, I, I, I read the epilogue. And in there, I just came across this this paragraph which has really not so much anything to do with Poppet specifically, uh, but it's about following your path, doing the practice, um, and dealing with what other people might say about you and your work. And so here she is talking about uh, when she first started putting them into the world. Her Poppets and her creations, her very crafty things. I remember reading on social media someone's opinion on how dumb I was as they laughed at my country prim and dolls and animals. There I was, following my passion, and someone felt the need to publicly diss my bliss. And then I realized, don't buy into someone's agony. It isn't yours. It doesn't belong to you. All these people are doing is telling the world that they are in pain and then trying to mask their own problems with voluminous prose of feigned outrage based on this cause or that. The smoke and mirrors of psychological dysfunction. It wasn't about me at all, not one little bit. Rather than fuss about it any further, I chose to look forward, to concentrate on joy, to settle for nothing less than healing." And uh, that seemed really appropriate uh, for a lot of things right now. Um, for myself as an artist, as an author, um, you know, whether that's looking at book reviews, um, various opinions of what I might stand for or don't stand for according to the internet, uh, as well as all these different interrelations and the difficulties is navigating the internet, social media, and the fact that when you look at witchcraft and paganism, we, we say the community, I even say the community, but what I'm saying is all of us who have a finger on this touchstone, this idea, but we all have many different opinions. We're all this sort of weird, marginal, creative group of people, but we have many different beliefs, many different backgrounds, a wide range of ages and experiences, and that is a wonderful and amazing thing, but it also means that everybody is very focused on what their lens is. That you see this, this is how you practice, this is what you do, and that is fantastic. The issue is when we run into people who say, well, if you're not doing this exactly how I'm doing it, you're doing it wrong. Uh, there are many ways to approach it. There are many ways to solve problems. 
And if you end up at the same result, how you get there, well, you can argue about what is more authentic or what is more acceptable. But the thing about magic and witchcraft is that there is a great deal of nuance in the world. Uh, there is a lot of things that happen below the surface and social media tends to be very performative. Like, hey, look, we are filming. I'm filming this right now. There's a cat here observing, sleeping. There's another wandering in and out. And so that is pretty much people like you're doing your thing and people come and go and they see a snippet of what you're doing or what you're talking about. But if they don't sit down to talk with you about it, they don't see the entire picture. And particularly as witches, we are always working at many different levels. There might be what you see, the illusion on top, there's all the ingredients that might be involved, and then there's all these layers that happen underneath of the practice, what you're doing on your path. And so it is really important to be able to focus on your path first, see the world around you, but first make sure that you're mm. stepping in the right direction. Mm. And that is six minutes. So. See y'all next time. Bye.